Do you want to learn how to set up goals in Google Analytics? It's an awesome way to keep tabs on your website traffic, your conversions, and track your progress with things like email subscribers and sales purchases and so much more. And I promise it's not too techy to set up. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process in this tutorial. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com where I help you figure out the DIY solutions for website tech and for SEO. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the entire process, but it's not too long, so don't get worried. Um, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of how to set up your first goal in Google Analytics. All right, let's get started. Okay, so setting up a goal in Google Analytics is pretty easy to do. And the reason why it's really helpful is that it allows you to measure goals and can help you measure like your progress for something. So for example, setting up a goal and setting up a, a conversion could be like having a website visitor sign up for a freebie or get on your email list. Like if somebody signs up for a freebie, then we can consider that a conversion. If somebody purchases a product on your website, like after they hit purchase, we can consider that a conversion. So we might have goals set up around these conversions, which is kind of what we're gonna do in this video. So every website has different goals. So you're really going to want to take the time to kind of think about what is worth tracking for you. So if you have some freebies, maybe tracking how many people sign up for those freebies. Um, if you have a workshop, maybe tracking how many people sign up for that workshop. If you have, you know, if you sell things on your website, maybe, you know, people purchasing a specific product or any product at all, it really depends on how you set it up. Maybe that would be worth tracking for you. Okay, so how you set up goals in Google Analytics. The first thing you're going to want to do is sign into Google Analytics. Okay. So then we're going to go over here in the left hand menu, click conversions, click goals, and then click overview. Okay. So if you have never set up a goal before, you will see this page. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and click set up goals and you'll see that it like kicks you over to the admin area. So there's actually two different ways to get to this screen. I'm just going to show you the other way really quick. You go ahead and click on admin and then under the view in the right hand side, you will see goals and bam, pops up the exact same screen. Wonderful, right? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click new goal. So the goal that I'm going to show you how to set up is called a destination goal. Okay. So we're actually I'm just gonna show you how to do a custom one. You can play around with these templates if you want to. I am going to set up a custom one just for this tutorial. So we're gonna give the goal a name. So I'm gonna say website guide freebie sign up, okay? And I am going to click destination. So destination means that we are tracking the conversion Basically, like we're tracking to see how many people end up at this destination. So we're going to input in the next step which page we want Google Analytics to consider a completed goal. So like if somebody views this thank you page on my website, I know that the only way that they're seeing this thank you page is if they have downloaded my free website guide. Okay, so I've set that up with my email marketing software to where after the user puts in their information, I then redirect them to this thank you page. Okay, best practice also for running like Facebook ads and things like that. I have a separate thank you page for each of my freebies, just so I can kind of keep my traffic organized and so I know who's downloaded each freebie. It is important to know that if you have an email sign up form and after somebody signs up, like the thank you notification is still in that pop up, you're not going to be able to create a goal tracking map. The only way that we can track 
this kind of goal, like a destination goal, is if we have an actual URL on the site. So it's the same thing, like if you're selling something on your website, maybe you sell it through PayPal, maybe you sell it through, I don't know, something else. And that thank you notification happens on another website. Google Analytics isn't going to be able to track that. So a good way to go around that is like maybe after they purchase through PayPal, maybe you can redirect them back to a thank you page on your website. That would still work because the destination URL is still living on your website. Okay. Sounds a little confusing, but that's, that's just, that's just the way we got to do it. All right. So get that destination, get that thank you page, whatever, whatever page you want to go ahead and track, go ahead and copy everything after your root domain name. So this is your root domain name, mariahmagazine.com, free, shmi, shmi, shmi. I want to copy everything after that, okay? So I want to set destination and click continue. I do want to note that you can go ahead and set up different goals based on different things. So this is totally up to you. I'm just showing how to set up a destination goal. You can play around with these. Okay, so go ahead and click continue. We're going to put that in here. So it says, for example, use, we want this. We don't wanna add the entire URL in here. So I'm gonna wanna put, um, a little, a little slashy thing. <laughs> My brain is like not working right now. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so <laughs> is equal to this. So basically goal details, Google Analytics. Hey, take note of when a user hits this destination, hits this thank you page, okay? So then we have the option to give this a value, like a monetary value. So this is really awesome for if you wanted to track like the, um, like if you're selling an ebook, let's say for $37, you can go ahead and put in $37 right here. And this will go ahead and in your reports moving forward, you'll be able to see that like this, somebody getting to this thank you page, which would be like, thank you for purchasing this ebook that equates to $37. So then you can actually compare your data in Google Analytics to see which things are creating or like have more value to them if you set up a bunch of goals, okay? So that's, that's really fun. I am not going to track this. Funnel, optional. So if you had, let's say, like a step-by-step -step process to sign up for something or to... I don't know, purchase something, you know what I'm saying. So you can go ahead and have Google Analytics track all of the steps. So you can tr like track each part of the funnel, like, hey, this person is supposed to go here, then here, then here. You can track all of those steps in the process, okay? So that is really awesome. So then we can you can click verify this goal to see if it would have been converted based on your Google Analytics data from the past seven days. So if somebody has visited this URL in the past seven days, Google Analytics will let you know that the goal, like that you set up things correctly, okay? I'm not going to do this because I'm actually on my other website's Google Analytics account and not mariahmagazine.com. So I don't wanna do that because it's not gonna work. Okay, so go ahead and click save. Oh, I don't want funnel. Click save. Then you will see your goal pop up right here. So note that you can only have 20 goals set up in Google Analytics, okay? That is important to know. We only got 20. Don't go buck wild. And so you're probably like, hey, Mariah, well, I'll just go ahead and delete one. Okay, well, joke's on us because you can't delete goals once you set them up in Google Analytics. The only thing that you can do is turn them on or off. So if you don't wanna record the data, turn it off. If you wanna record the data, turn it on. 
what you can do is go back in here and edit them, okay? So that might be your only option because, well, we cannot um, delete them. And that really sucks. So, okay, once we set up the goals, they will start showing up right here. If we go to conversions, goals, overview, they will start showing up in this screen, okay? So you'll be able to see information here. The thing is, is that it takes like a day or two in order for Google Analytics to go ahead and track the data. So don't be thrown off if you're, if you're literally viewing the page and your data isn't showing up right away. It takes Google Analytics a little bit. So I would suggest coming in the next day or in two days and then checking your goal completions, tracking your conversions. That would be my suggestion. Um, but other than that, that is a basic run through on how you set up goals with Google Analytics. If you're looking for more in-depth information on Google Analytics, I do have an on-demand workshop available. So basically, it will help you increase your website traffic by understanding your current traffic. So if you're overwhelmed by even literally like logging into Google Analytics, or if you want to learn about the overview of the dashboard, um, I also go through in this on-demand virtual workshop, I also go through how to make everything less overwhelming, how to stop messing up your data, which numbers really matter and why, tips to improve your website based on your numbers, because, well, data doesn't lie, but it also doesn't give you solutions. So I teach you what to improve on your website based on the numbers that are showing up in Google Analytics. Plus you get access to three step-by-step -step tutorials. So yeah, if Google Analytics is overwhelming to you and you really want to utilize it to its full potential, then definitely sign up for this on-demand workshop that I have, which I will link in the video description below. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button for me really quick and then take a second to comment below and let me know how the tutorial went for you. And if you're not a subscriber just yet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all of the DIY website tech and SEO tutorials and videos I have coming your way.